Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Here at Parallel Wireless, we often get asked about why we support 2G and 3G now that everyone is moving to 5G and 2G, 3G networks are being switched off. It's important to understand that 2G and 3G networks aren't being shut down everywhere, and today's short video is aimed at explaining why. If you look at any news or articles covering telecommunications, you will notice they are dominated by 5G. It's understandable if you think the whole world is moving on to 5G and you are being left behind. The GSMA Mobile Economy Report 2020 highlighted how global operators see the change in the mobile technology mix. It is expected that the number of 5G connections will overtake the number of 2G connections in 2023 and 3G connections in 2025. 4G is already the most popular technology today and will continue to be so in 2025 as well. Globally, 5% of subscribers are expected to be on 2G and 18% on 3G in 2025. This may sound like a small number, but with 8.8 .8 billion subscribers forecasted to be around in 2025, there will be roughly 460 million 2G GSM subscribers and roughly 1.58 billion 3G UMTS subscribers. To put it in context, the combined number of 2G and 3G subscribers will be roughly one quarter of the world's population in 2025. The outlook for many regions outside the most advanced markets clearly shows a need for 2G and 3G users to be supported in 2025 and beyond. It's also worth highlighting that there will be more 2G and 3G users in MENA and Sub-Saharan Africa in 2025 as compared to 5G. In a recent white paper titled Open RAN Integration, Run With It, which is available on our website, Ian Galat, founder and president of IGR Inc. and author of the white paper, says that Open RAN has been deployed to support legacy 2G and 3G network technologies, as well as 4G LTE and 5G. It has been deployed in the most developed and competitive markets in the world, supporting some of the fastest growing regions. Clearly, the emphasis here supports an all-G solution. We have introduced a Telecom Info Project, or TIP, in our earlier videos. TIP's Open RAN group is an initiative to define and build 2G, 3G, and 4G RAN solutions based on a general purpose vendor-neutral hardware and software-defined technology. 5G is supported as part of another TIP group called the Open RAN 5G NR Project Group. Clearly, the operators active in TIP feel the need for Open RAN to support not just 4G and 5G, but also 2G and 3G. This can be seen in the joint Telefonica and Vodafone RFI results back in 2018, where different vendors were invited to provide information on their solutions for 2G, 3G, and 4G, along with RRHs and end-to-end -end platforms. This again highlights the two major operator groups are exploring solutions for all Gs, not just 4G and 5G. In the latest TIP Summit back in November 2019, Vodafone highlighted in their presentation that traditional solutions are not suitable for many business use cases, and there is a need to expand the RAN ecosystem to drive more innovation and cost efficiencies. In the same presentation, Vodafone highlighted their multi-technology open RAN trials in Turkey with Parallel Wireless. The trial covers 2G, 3G, and 4G. As we saw in the regional charts earlier, 3G is the fastest growing technology in Africa. This MTN chart highlights that any solution for Africa needs to support 2G and 3G. At Parallel Wireless, we strongly believe that our all-G open RAN approach helps provide coverage, capacity, and 5G-ready solutions. This single solution is flexible to cater for different geographies, regions, markets, topographies, and more, while reducing operators' total cost of ownership to manage, maintain, and upgrade their mobile networks. And that's it for today's video. We'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to us to further discuss how our all-G solutions can help you solve your challenges. You can also visit our website at parallelwireless.com and follow us on social media. Thank you, and we'll see you soon for our next video.